vagus nerve, the tenth cranial nerve. Introduction The vagus nerve, or the tenth cranial nerve, is primarily associated with the parasympathetic division of the autonomic nervous system. However, it also has some sympathetic influence through peripheral chemoreceptors. Vagus is the longest and most widely distributed cranial nerve. This is the only nerve that has the thoracic and abdominal distribution. The vagus nerve is a mixed nerve as it contains both efferent or sensory and efferent or motor fibers. This means it is responsible for not only carrying motor signals to the organs it innervates, but it also carries sensory information from these organs back to the central nervous system. It has two sensory ganglia, superior or jugular, and inferior or nodosum. The vagus nerve contains general efferent or sensory fibers, special sensory, visceral efferent or sensory fibers, branchial efferent or motor fibers, visceral efferent or motor fibers. General efferent fibers are responsible for perceiving touch, pain, temperature, pressure, vibration, and proprioceptive sensation from the posterior ear, external auditory meatus, and posterior and the external surface of the tympanic membrane. Branchial efferent fibers innervate the muscles that develop from the branchial arches such as muscles of mastication, the tensor tympani, and the tensor villi palatini. Special sensory convey taste from palate and epiglottis. Visceral efferent fibers innervate the viscera, including all smooth muscle and glands. Visceral efferent fibers are responsible for perceiving sensory input, with the exception of pain, from the viscera or internal organs of the body's main cavity, nuclei of vagus nerve. Within the medulla oblongata of the brain stem, there are four vagal nuclei onto which the axons of the vagus nerve emerge from or converge onto. These include the dorsal motor nucleus, the nucleus ambiguous, the solitary nucleus, and the spinal trigeminal nucleus. The dorsal motor nucleus supplies parasympathetic efferents primarily to the gastrointestinal tract and lungs. The efferent fibers that arise from the nucleus ambiguous supply the muscles of the soft palate, pharynx, and larynx. It also gives rise to branchial efferent fibers and preganglionic parasympathetic neurons for the heart. The solitary nucleus receives primary efferents from visceral organs as well as taste information. Finally, the efferents that converge onto the spinal trigeminal nucleus relay sensory information regarding pain, temperature, and deep touch of the outer ear the dura of the posterior cranial fossa, and the mucosa of the larynx. Intracranial course. The vagus nerve arises from the posterior lateral sulcus between the ninth and 10th cranial nerves. After its origin, it passes along with the cranial accessory nerve towards the jugular foramen to exit from the cranial cavity. Sensory vagal ganglia. The superior ganglion, or jugular, is located in the jugular foramen, contains unipolar first sensory neurons for general somatic sensations. The inferior ganglion, or nodosum, is located below the jugular foramen and contains unipolar first sensory neurons for general visceral and special visceral or taste sensation. 
branches of vagus and jugular foramen. Auricular branch of vagus or alderman's nerve is distributed to skin of upper part of the auricle, external acoustic meatus, and posterior inferior part of the tympanic membrane. Extracranial course of vagus is divided into three parts, cervical, thoracic, and abdominal. Let's take a look at the cervical course. The vagus nerve in the neck is present as a content of carotid sheath in between the internal carotid artery and internal jugular vein up to the level of superior margin of thyroid cartilage below this level. It lies between common carotid artery and internal jugular vein. The vagus nerve comes out of the carotid sheath at the root of the neck. Branches in the neck. Pharyngeal branch. This branch carries cranial accessory fibers, the 11th cranial nerve, which takes part in the pharyngeal plexus through which it supplies the pharyngeal muscles, except stylopharyngeus. It also supplies muscles of the soft palate, except the tensor palate. Superior laryngeal nerves arise just below the pharyngeal branch. It immediately divides into internal and external laryngeal nerves. The external laryngeal nerve supplies cricothyroid and inferior constrictor, whereas the internal laryngeal nerve is a sensory nerve which supplies the mucosa of the larynx above the vocal cords. Recurrent laryngeal nerves. The nerves of both sides supply all intrinsic muscles of larynx except cricothyroid muscles and the sensory fibers to mucosa of larynx below the vocal cords. Cardiac branches are two sets, superior and inferior, forms superficial and deep cardiac plexus to supply muscles of the heart. Vagus nerve in the thorax. It enters into the thorax through the thoracic inlet. The course of the right vagus is different from that of the left vagus in the thorax. Course of the right vagus. The right vagus enters the thoracic cavity by crossing in front of the first part of the subclavian artery posterior to the internal jugular vein. In the superior mediastinum, right vagus runs posterior to the right brachiocephalic vein and superior vena cava in contact with the right surface of trachea. In the posterior mediastinum, the nerve passes posterior to right principal bronchus, reaches the hilum of the right lung to form the pulmonary plexus. At posterior surface of esophagus, branches of right and left vagus forms the esophageal plexus. Let's take a look at the course of the left vagus. It enters the thoracic cavity between the left subclavian and left common carotid artery posterior to brachiocephalic vein. It is in relation to left surface of the arch of aorta. Near the hilum of the left lung, it gives off the pulmonary plexus. Branches of right and left vagus in the thorax. Deep cardiac plexus supplies the heart, pulmonary plexus to the trachea and bronchial tree, esophageal plexus to the esophagus. Abdominal course. During development of the foregut, the stomach rotates 90 degrees clockwise, shifting the left vagus to anterior and right vagus to posterior. So in the abdomen, anterior and posterior vagal trunks are present. Anterior vagal trunk gives rise to hepatic and gastric branches. Hepatic branches supply liver, gallbladder, 
and the extrabiliary system. Gastric branches supply anterior and superior surfaces of the stomach. Posterior vagal trunk gives rise to gastric and celiac branches. Gastric branches The main gastric branch, which is the nerve to letargeat, runs in the lesser omentum to supply the posterior inferior part of the stomach. Celiac branches pass around the left gastric artery and join with celiac and superior mesenteric plexus to supply the abdominal organs. Clinical correlation Unilateral lesions of vagus nerve causes unilateral paralysis of soft palate except tensor palate due to this lowering of the palate on the affected side is observed. During phonation, the palate fails to elevate. The uvula shifts to normal side, results in nasal twang of nasal regurgitation of food. Unilateral paralysis of pharyngeal muscles causing deviation of posterior pharyngeal wall. Loss of gag reflex on the same side of the lesion. Ipsilateral loss of sensations in the pharyngeal mucosa and paralysis of the laryngeal muscles.